Katrina, what's the latest? Well, good morning, Stephen. Yeah, just like you said, uh, we are seeing fewer lights out here. Uh, this the, the only area that we see right now is right under this uh, in this overpass here. That is where police and um, and other first responders still have this area roped up. This is as you come off 35 and you're attempting to go to Ritterman Road. That area is still closed right now, but most of the other areas that we saw that were closed earlier have reopened. And this, of course, is due to a crash that happened about 3 o'clock this morning. Police tell us that a car flew off the elevated highway and landed on the ground below in pieces. Uh, the medical examiner was here. They did confirm that at least one person died in that crash this morning. And so this has been the situation ever since as police investigated uh, the crash to try to figure out exactly what went wrong. They say the curious thing is that the car came off the highway and seemed to miss all of the guardrails because there was no damage to any of those. So it flew right over the guardrails and then landed on the ground below. And again, one person at least killed in that crash. It looks like they are just about wrapping up the investigation. So we expect that this area may reopen soon. But for now, that's the only thing still closed, the underpass here as you come from 35 North to Ridiman Road. Reporting live on the northeast side, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.